Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be doing a full face of makeup from TJ Maxx and from Marshalls. You can call it a makeup tutorial as well because this is what it's going to be. And I pretty much bought a couple things here and there from TJ Maxx and Marshalls a couple weeks ago and accumulated a couple products to create this makeup look. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And for those of you who are new, my name is Jada. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that you subscribe. And with that being said, if you guys want to know how I achieved this makeup look, just keep on watching the video and I'll see you guys. that I'm going to be using is going to be the Shade and Light Contour Palette and it contains four colors, a highlighter, contour, and a define and a base. And pretty much we're going to use this one for the eyes and it was actually for $9.99 at TJ Maxx. I actually found this I think about a couple weeks ago and I never got around to actually review it for you guys. So this is going to be a small little review. So when I opened the palette, it came with this little booklet here, which you can see that's Kat Von D right there. And it also gives you like instructions of how to do your eyes using this palette. So it's pretty cool that it actually gives you instructions. So if you're a new beginner and you don't know how to do your makeup, this is pretty much awesome. And the packaging is to die for you guys. The packaging I love. Um, and it looks like a coffin. I don't know for some reason to me, like the palette looks like a coffin which is pretty cool and it's very like versatile you can actually put this in your purse very small and compact as well so I love when palettes are very tiny because then I can just take it with me on the go now that my lids are nice and primed now I'm gonna go in with the palette from Kat Von D so we're gonna go in with this color and I'm just gonna grab a morphe brush this one is the morphe m536 brush I'm going to grab this color right here and I'm just going to dab it all over the eyes. Okay, and that's how it's looking. And it has a little bit of kickback, but not much. It's nothing crazy. So the contour part is this one over here. We're going to use that actually on the crease side of the eye. And let's just see how it works. Now, this is very, very pigmented, you guys. It's actually giving me a lot of color, which is good. It's actually blending really, really good and not giving me any, any problems. We're going to do the same thing to the other eye. Do it. If I wanted to create just a little bit of a smoky look at the outer corner, I'll grab that brown in the palette and just put it in the outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit more. And then grab like a little bit of a blending brush and just sweep that back and forth on the outer V of your eyes. I actually think this palette is really good. You can pretty much throw it in your purse, take it on the go and create like a natural eye look with this palette. This is like a one eye look type of palette. Um, it's not a palette that contains all these colors. But if you're the type of person that just likes one eye look and you want just that to be your look, for example, for me, this will work perfectly because I like these type of eye looks where it's like warm colors, very natural, very easy to do, which is throw on on the road. You can just create this look very easy. You don't have a lot of colors to work with, but I like that it only has four colors. So that way it's easier for me just to pick what I want. Um, I don't know. It kind of weighs its options because sometimes, you know, if you have too many colors, you don't know what I look to do. And if you don't have a lot of colors and you don't have a lot of options. So it's really what type of girl you are. So if you're the type of girl to create different eye looks or if you're the type of girl that just likes one eye look and you just want that perfect palette that has the colors that you need to create that one eye look. If you know what I mean. I know they have it still at TJ Maxx. Um, they are coming back. They, I think they come every year because last year they had it and then they stopped actually selling it at TJ Maxx and now it's back again. So if you don't get your hands on it, maybe wait a couple more months. They might come back again. So anyways, moving on, I'm going to go in now with my foundation. I'm going to use a primer. I'm going to go with the Stila One Step Skin Tone Illuminate, Illuminizing Primer. But it has like little specks of glitter, you guys, this primer. So... If you're the type of person that doesn't like that, then um, I definitely do not recommend it. But 
to create that luminizing look on your face. It's obviously going to kind of have that kind of shimmer, but you can't see it as much. It's almost like like a sparkly type of look that you're getting with this primer. I really, really do like it. I actually finished my other foundation that I bought a while ago, and I bought a new one just recently from TJ Maxx. This one is in the shade Caramel, and it is the Stay All Day Foundation by Stila. They actually do sell it also at Sephora, but it's actually pricey, and it is more of an updated version of this. I think the other one contains like a concealer on top, but this one is for $7.99 at TJ Maxx. If you can get this foundation for $7.99 without having the concealer, I think that's an awesome price, you guys. Definitely do not spend your money going to Sephora and buying this foundation because you can definitely find it at TJ Maxx for like 75% off. So definitely check it out. I'm going to go in with a brush. I'm going to take my MAC brush. This one is very similar to the Artiste brushes, but I'm going to apply that all over my face and I'm just going to smooth that all over. Now I'm going to go in with my Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. This is like my favorite concealer, you guys. It, it gives you like full on coverage. Like a little goes a long way, you guys. So when you are dealing with this concealer. So the next product that I actually found at TJ Maxx was the Cover FX Contour Kit. This one was actually for $12.99 and this is how it looks like. It is very, very inexpensive. I think it goes for around $35, I believe, on the website for the cover effects. But this one is in the shade medium deep or G. And this is how it looks like. So this is the palette. It says cover effects on the front. When I seen cover effects at Teacher Max, you guys, I was really shook because cover effects is one of those products that are very, very expensive. Get four shades two contours one highlight and i think the other one is a shimmery highlight so we're going to use this for today and we are going to use a brush let's go in with the shade number four so that is the color so we're going to use this just to contour our face and i'm going to take my mac brush this one is a brush that i like to use when i'm dealing with contours just to blend that together now it's not a dark dark color you guys but it's not bad it's more of a warmer type of contour rather than cool it's not bad you guys but it's something that i will probably not reach as much but this is how it looks like very easy to blend it actually blends pretty pretty fast yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's good? Um, I think it kind of defined my cheeks a little bit more. Not as much, but it's pretty much there, I think. Like for medium skin tones, I think it's not that bad. But I would definitely go with the darkest shade for me, I feel. The number three is actually a little bit too light. The number four is actually perfect or almost there. It's the color that I think I would actually use. Now we're going to go in with the highlight. And I'm actually going to put that down up here i'm gonna put it down the bridge of my nose this is just to highlight i'm also going to put a little bit here just to define my contour and maybe up here a little bit so the consistency of this is actually pretty thick so you definitely need a brush like this to blend it um which i'm going to use now so now we're going to go in with number two. Number two is like a shimmery color. I don't know if you guys can see. It has a little bit of illumination. What I probably will do with that, I will actually put that on my cheeks. So I will grab either a beauty sponge, grab a little bit of that. And we're going to put that just on the highest point of our cheeks. So right there. This is just going to add a little bit of luminosity. And you can also apply this on the tip of your nose. You can also apply this right in the center there. Um, and maybe even on your chin. And you don't want to put a lot. Um, but what I do is also bring it up around my temples. So I'm just going to set my makeup now. I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder. So I go in with my Laura Mercier powder. And I'm just going to set my under eyes. So with this beauty blender, this is the Real Techniques. 
what I do is grab the powder like this and I will use the edge here and I pretty much would draw a line right there. We're gonna let that bake just a little bit and then just clean it around the eyes and we're gonna go back to the shading light palette. I'm gonna take that um, brown shade or that um, terracotta shade over here. It's like that orangey shade and we're gonna bring that underneath the eye. So I'm gonna take the Morphe E36 brush. It's a little tapered brush like this. Grab that color and bring it underneath my eyes. For underneath my eyelashes, I like to use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, you guys. I don't know, for some reason, I love the way it makes my eyelashes look underneath. It's very dark, intense. Um, it separates my eyelashes really good and it just hits every hair on the bottom of my eyelashes. Any other mascara that I use does not give me the same effect. This is why I love this mascara you guys so now i'm just gonna go in with a matte bronzer so i'm gonna take this one from nyx it is deep tan matte bronzer you can definitely find this at the drugstore and i've been using this for a long time i just have not used it in a while because i've been using other products from tj maxx but this is one of my favorite 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 bronzers you guys i stopped using it for quite a while but i really really do like it so i'm just gonna add a little bit right on my cheeks and right on the top here so the next product you guys that i found recently at marshall's was actually this blush trio from anastasia beverly hills this one is called pool party and you get three colors and it's for 9.99 this is how the palette looks like and you get the colors blank pageant and cash when i seen this a blush trio at marshall's you guys i was really really excited because I have never seen these blushes at Marshalls or at TJ Maxx. So if you guys find this, make sure that you take it because the colors are gorgeous. This one over here, the middle one, is so, so freaking pretty. It's like has a little bit of specks of glitter in it, but it's so gorgeous, you guys. The other colors are more of a matte color. They don't have shimmer, but it's still gorgeous. And I'm just going to take... I'm gonna take actually this color over here, the last one, this one, the third one, and we're just going to hit the cheeks just a little bit because it is intense. Fine. This is something that you're not gonna find at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but this is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder, the Mega Glow, and this one is in the color Golden Flower Crown. So. It is one of those highlighters that is so gorgeous. Let me show you. So pigmented. Let's see. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M510 brush. I'm just gonna take that and just go on top of my cheeks. Hit it a little bit around the nose. Here. And we are good. So that is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder by Wet n Wild. Totally recommend this for you guys to try. It's inexpensive. I think it was only like $4 at Walmart. You can also find this. So I definitely recommend this. Um, for the lips, I actually found this MAC Lip Duo. This one is called the MAC Lip Duo Lip Pencil Auburn and Matte Lipstick called Chili. And it was for $12.99 at TJ Maxx. And I'm going to actually try this out. I have not tried it out at all. So let's take a look at it. It's really cute, the packaging. Um, I think it's more of a burnt brown, but we're going we're gonna to see. When I seen this, I was like so excited because it even comes with a lippy from MAC. Really pretty. And this is the color. So we're going to line our lips. And I think it's going to look perfectly good with this whole look. So what I like to do with lip pencils when they're new, I like to actually warm it on my finger or on my hand. Because sometimes it can get really, really, really hard when you apply it on your lips. So I like to warm it up a little bit and then apply it on my lips. So you see like before it wasn't giving me any color. Now it is. So now we're going to go in with the lipstick. The lipstick is actually called Chili. It's like a brown, but it has almost like an orangey shade to it too. 
girl this color is so freaking pretty i cannot tell you guys how gorgeous this color is i also picked up the lip gloss from anastasia and this one that i'm going to show you guys is called parfait this one is a opaque high shine vanilla scented lip gloss as well and this is how it looks like i wonder if i put this on top of this how it will look like let me just give it a try you guys so this one's parfait oh my god you guys that looks so freaking pretty i'm just gonna put it right in the middle of my lips sometimes what you can do is put this put like a lip gloss right in the middle of your lip it kind of gives your the illusion of fuller lips when you put like a high shine lip gloss in the middle um so that's what i did here and i love love the color you guys but let me just show you how it looks like without the color it's like a shimmery orangey color but it's so pretty on top of this color from mac okay guys so this is pretty much the whole makeup look i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i honestly love everything i was really surprised with the anastasia lip gloss this one is the shade parfait and i honestly thought that this was really gonna look good but on top of this color from mac it looked so freaking bomb you guys um the camera camera is not doing it justice but i really really love this look especially like for the summer fall season it's like a perfect transition don't have to spend a lot of money with all these products you can definitely achieve this look just with products from tj maxx and from marshall's i totally recommend you guys shop there if you haven't already then girl you gotta get on board but anyways thank you so much for watching this video if you guys have any suggestions any comments leave them down below and as well as any other ideas that you guys have for me to do on my next video i will certainly do it um but yeah so i thank you so much i hope that you guys enjoy your day and i'll see you guys on my next one bye guys